To make a vase, first make sure that you are not working in your perspective view. Go to your front or side view. Go to whichever web browser you prefer and search for an image of a vase. You want to make sure that it's, ex that it's symmetrical and that it has a flat base. Save that one. To save it, go ahead and put it in your D drive or your local drive and save the image in source images so that your computer will automatically load it. I already did that step, so I can go back to Maya, go to View, Image Plane, Import Image, and select your vase. You want to draw the contour line of this vase. You can do that by selecting Bezier Curve, which is this last option here, or can be found in Create, Curve Tool, Bezier Curve Tool. Remember that clicking once makes a hard edge. Clicking and dragging can make a curved edge. You want to leave the hole up here open. And you only want to do half. If you do the whole thing, it will revolve on itself. You can edit it by right-clicking and se selecting Control Vertex. I'm going to delete that one. And I can adjust my Bezier handles here if I need. I find it helps to drag select over them. Once I'm done my reference image, I can delete it. And then I want to select my line and double click on the move tool to get the edit pivot option. Make sure that the pivot is aligned with the end of your object. If it's close but not exact, you may have a small hole in the bottom of your vase. For this project, that doesn't matter as much. Go back to object mode, select your line, and you can either Go to your surfaces and get revolve, or hit this button right here. At least, I think it's surfaces revolve. Yes, surfaces revolve, or hit this button. It will, it will revolve with your normals flipped. If this bothers you, you can go to surfaces, reverse direction. For right now, it won't make too much of a difference for us because we're only using this as a guide to make our final project. To do the next step, converting it to a polygon, you want to go to Modify, Convert, NURBS to Polygons, and select the box. There are a number of different ways you can change this. If you want triangles, if you want to have a poly count be specific, but I always select quads. I find them easier to work in. And then I apply. Now you'll have two vases. Your NURB one and your polygon. Now right now they're a copy. So anything I change about this one should change. And even if I go back to this line, 
If I change a control vertex here, you'll notice that all vases change. This only works until I delete this line. Once I delete that line, actually I deleted the point there. But once I delete the line, it will break that connection. But you don't need either of the references you used previously. Now go to faces on your vase, select all of the faces, and go to polygons, actually, sorry, and go to your modeling toolkit. From here, extrude the shape like you did with the cup and adjust the local thickness so that you have a thick vase and that the normals are in the right direction. You may want to do this step in the perspective if you're not sure how thick the numbers will make it. And now you have a vase.